<laughs> I just thought, oh, what is this? Montana. <laughs> Great Falls, Billings, Missoula. Oh. You know, I had spent a lot of time thinking about Montana. In fact, I emailed some newspapers in Montana. Does Kathy Best, the former editor of the Seattle Times, still live in Montana? Because when I had contacted the Seattle Times about my rights being violated, I thought that Kathy wanted to take over all the small local newspapers. Ooch. Jeanette Rankin of Missoula was the first woman to serve in the United States Congress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1916. Oh, look at that. Such an attractive woman. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you say we have a little look at Montana? Because there were a few issues with static and uh, some large... Uh, well, let's say you're a bold. You got to thinking that being a cowboy, you eat a lot of beef. And then there was uh, different individuals that were elected to office from Montana. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, does anybody know the governor of Montana, Steve Bullock? Mm -hmm. Is he still the governor? Yeah. Yep. And then there was a guy that I once called that was uh, an ambassador to China. Yes. <laughs> I think he had some sort of political office. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I've been trying to communicate with those in office about the need for them to actually, oh, oh. well, call Kathy Best, he, well, <laughs> now, um, there's a constitution went into effect in 1973, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I think I read part of that, and there were, well, why don't you get me all the individuals that live in Montana? And how many of those elected to office know about the fraud on the court and the fraud of the state? And they thought, oh, most of the state's 56 counties elected commissioners to govern the county. Yeah. A lot of, many of Montana cities and towns have a mayor council government. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got any sheriffs in Montana? <laughs> now, how many sheriffs in Montana like the idea of spending a little time in prison for their... <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking that's where you're going, Sheriff. <laughs> now, I know out there on the range you thought you were something very significant, but the truth is if you know the crime, you're going to do the time. <laughs> And I, Montana's gas, oil, and coal industries expanded rapidly in the 1970s. Montana Power Company built four coal-fired electric power plants at Coal Strip. 30% yeah. coal severance tax contributed needed funds to the state. 30% coal severance tax. I've never heard of a severance tax before. <laughs> yeah. Hydroelectric and the Kootenai. Oh. I'm just wanting to know every sheriff in Montana that knows about the fraud of taking an American son's without any due process and then deciding to stick it to him for $136,000, then allowing his wife to not uh, admit to the court the actual community property debt uh, where there was a, a, a Spokane, a Washington Superior Court order for a garnishment is... Now, I know they called it e-tux, as in inclusive of the of the wife. Yes. But knowing we were married for over 10 years, we got married in December of 1999. Did you see that marriage certificate from the United Nations? Yes. <laughs> Could you look on the date of it? <clears throat> you know, I'm, I'm going to want this date for myself. And uh, I'm going to want to know uh, how many persons that are oaths, badges, and attorneys know about the fraud on the court and the fraud of the state, and then the refusal to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Because I'll sue every fucking oath of office in Montana. So why don't you go through and get me all the employees of Montana that know about this crime... And then all of them thought there were big old cowboys out there, but the truth of the matter is they're just American citizens. Every one of them can go to prison just like you can. Mm -hmm.
Mm -hmm. They thought that they were exempt from prosecution for allowing sheriffs to <laughs> cause bad things to happen to good people. Pooch. <laughs> now, this is the moon. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a time that I wanted to know every possible way that you could. Oh, look at the shortest distance from Earth is only 225,740 miles. But the greatest distance is 251,970 miles. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it has a radius and a volume of 5.27 billion cubic miles. Oh, oh, oh. Quite a density there, isn't it? 3.34 grams per cubic centimeter. <laughs> has anybody weighed the surface gravity of the moon? It's about one-sixth that of the Earth. <laughs> you ever seen those astronauts when they're jumping around? They have to have special boots on to do that. <laughs> Now, the temperature at the equator is minus 282 plus 260 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's kind of hot on one side of it. You can get a lot. You make a lot of it. Let's say I was to take up there some hot roof technology and build myself some shelters. And exactly how much electricity could I? Can anybody use the moon? Because when you think of the, the bright side of it, the side that faces the sun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really not that far away, is it? <laughs> now, if you have an average of 238,000 miles and you're out there and there's no gravity, and <laughs> you got yourself one of those really good rocket ships where you got a really fast motor in it, <laughs> and you're pressing against the non-gravity. <laughs> Did you ever wonder why um, you could have propulsion through gravity without uh, there being any gravity? <laughs> It doesn't make a lot of sense because usually... <laughs> no. See, in atmosphere, you can push against gravity. <laughs> but uh, it only has one-sixth the gravity of Earth. <laughs> I'd just like to know what is the gravity of, of uh, the moon. <laughs> When's the last time you tested it? <laughs> now, let's say we pointed all the satellites towards the moon and get the hot part, the 260 degrees Fahrenheit, <laughs> and then get the cold part, the minus 200 degree, 280 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> There's nothing back there that I would want to know about. I mean, <laughs> you didn't build something on the backside of the moon so nobody could see what you did. <laughs>